I, Vision, son of Themis, of wise counsel, not of my own will, but compelled by the same power that holds you captive, I'm going to forge you to this barren cliff, alone. Thus at all times, one torment or another will plague you. Your rescuer is not yet born. This is the fruit of your philanthropy! suffer at the hands of gods. Witness the torture and disgrace I must endure through endless time, miseries designed for me by the new monarch of the blessed. Oh, terrible sorrows present and to come, what end is there? I say this, yet I knew it all before. All that shall be foreseen and clearly known, what hidden earth could take me by surprise? I'll bear as lightly as I can what fate decreed for me. I know full well no power can stand against necessity. And yet I can't accept my lot, neither in silence nor in speech, that I was yoked in chains for bringing gifts to mortal men. Prometheus, don't you understand? Words are physicians to a mind that's sick with anger. Yes, if you soothe the heart at the right moment, not try to check its swelling rage by force. If you see harm in someone's goodwill bracing itself with courage, please, what is it? Instruct me. Thoughtless simplicity and useless effort. Let me be sick with this disease. It is wise to play the fool while being in one's right mind. Your pity screws me tighter to this rock. For all your foolishness will seem my own. say this, but to set forth the friendly purpose of my gifts. In the beginning they could see, but seeing was useless to them, and hearing they heard nothing. Like dreams with shifting shapes, their long lives ran their course in meaningless confusion. They had no knowledge of brick houses built to face the sun, they knew no carpentry. They dwelled beneath the ground like swarming ants in dismal caves. They could not tell with certainty the approach of winter, or flowery spring, or summer with its fruits. Their every act was without purpose, until I showed them the rising and the setting of the stars. Not easy to discern. And numbers, too. The subtlest science I invented for them, and the joining of letters, which is the very memory of things, and feckin' mother to the muses' arts, was I first brought wild beasts under the yoke, slaves to relieve mortals of the work that was too hard for their weak bodies. What did I do, son of Crumbs? What fault did you find in me that you would yoke me to such pain, driving me mad with fear of a dead by sting? Destroy me with fire, bury me under the earth, throw me as food to the monsters of the sea. But Lord, hear my prayer. Do not grudge me the favor I ask. Surely my endless wandering has taught me enough. I can't find a way to escape my troubles. 
Do you hear the lament of a cow-horned maiden? How could I not hear the voice of the gadfly frenzied daughter of Inachus, who once fired the heart of Zeus with love, and is now forced to study on overly long, twisted paths the hatred of Hera? Who are you that know who my father was? To name the disease that haunts my hours, harassing me, driving me now and at all times. Flee the peace that I crave. Tell me, tormented one, who you are. Speak to my misery. Among all the suffering beings, is there one like myself? Tell me, and tell me too what the future will bring. And is there a cure for me? Tell me plainly. Speak the truth if you know it, and I will listen. I'll tell you clearly what you want to know. Not weaving riddles, but with simple words as friends speak to each other without guard. I am Prometheus, who gave fire to man. Imploring him to set me free! 